Everywhere in Switzerland, in aeroplanes, on streets, or at the computer monitor, people are carrying out activities, the importance of which is often underrated. They're carrying out a survey. For decades, these measurements were almost exclusively for the purpose of producing maps on a variety of scales. Today, spatial information is collected in the form of digital data. Such information and its resulting products are called geodata. Surveying our country, surveying the Earth. A daily challenge for the staff of Swiss Topo in Warben near Bern. Surveys are carried out, interpreted and delineated using computer programs in the office but also on location in the fields. The wealth of information in the database is subsequently processed in many ways and issued either as a digital file or on paper. Dubendorf, 15th of October, 7.42 a.m. The staff of Swiss Topo has completed its flight planning and is prepared to take off. Every year, photos are taken of Switzerland. Not proper aerial images, but digital photograph strips of land of 1.5 to 3 kilometers width are recorded. The orientation of the photographic strips is west-east, or if topography does not allow this, parallel to the valley axis. Photographs of the Grisons are scheduled for today. Dubendorf is still shrouded in fog. That, however, does not prevent the Twin Otter, one of Swiss Topo's aeroplanes, from taking off. The thick fog will disperse soon anyway. As soon as the aeroplane is above a flight line, recording begins. Precisely speaking, they're scanning the countryside from an average height of 2,500 meters above ground. The digital special camera records five color channels. Panchromatic, red, green, blue, and near-infrared. The familiar color pictures are derived from a combination of the channels. Every image strip is photographed from three different angles. This way it is possible to survey the landscape stereoscopically, thus laying the basis for reconstructing the third dimension, the height or z-coordinate. In addition to the picture data, a GPS device continuously registers the position of the aeroplane. After landing, the information stored on the hard disks is copied, saved, and its quality checked. At the same time, not only image quality is examined, but also whether the registered data covers the entire area targeted in flight planning. If all quality requirements are fulfilled, the picture data is transferred to Warben. Incoming data is immediately saved and archived. Now the process of image orientation begins. The aim is to reconstruct the relationship of the image strip to the real world. This is done on the basis of fixed points and the GPS data recorded during the flight. Fixed points are unambiguously identifiable reference points on the ground. Annual surveying campaigns with GPS determine their coordinates. Every fixed point is documented to facilitate subsequent work on the monitor.
The geo-indexed aerial image strips form the basis for three-dimensional surveying of the surface. Special glasses, in combination with two monitors and a mirror, provide a three-dimensional view. One of the products that are reproduced three-dimensionally is the digital height model. The geomatic specialist compares reality with the digital model, observes changes in the landscape, deletes data in these areas and replaces them with updated information. We now turn to a product that is directly derived from the image strip, the orthophotographs. Orthophotographs are undistorted and true-to-scale images of the surface of the ground. They are created with the help of the digital terrain model. In order to represent reality correctly, certain areas have to be post-edited manually. Apart from geometrical corrections, the colours of the individual orthophotographs have to harmonise. Usually, however, they differ greatly because the photographs have been taken at different times of day and year. But by modifying colour and illumination, the orthophotographs make up a homogeneous mosaic. To process areas beyond our national boundaries, SwissTopo also uses satellite images. These images have to be processed and corrected like aerial image strips. SwissTopo's skills in processing satellite data are also offered to external clients. For this reason, you will also find satellite images on their monitors of Beijing and its forbidden city. Since 2008, Swiss Topo has been building a three-dimensional model of Switzerland under the name of TLM. TLM stands for Topographic Landscape Model and comprises all data already existing as well as those registered from the image strips in a huge database. Apart from its terrain model in high resolution in the form of billions of pixels, TLM also contains a precise description of the various landscape elements in the form of vectors. The contents of TLM are regularly updated. Here, for instance, an intersection is transformed into a roundabout. This information is registered, dimensions are adjusted, and if necessary, the roads leading to the roundabout are modified. Specially devised tools make it possible to measure and to register three-dimensional information, such as the precise shape of a roof or the width of a road. In addition to maps, a variety of products are derived from the TLM database. These provide a valuable basis for engineers, municipal planners, architects and other users. Questions that cannot be resolved in the office are answered directly in the field. On aerial photographs taken in the vicinity of Zimmerwald in the Gurnigel area, a Swiss Topo employee has discovered paths that did not exist on earlier pictures. Are they really new paths or are they merely temporary artefacts? He marks the areas in question and drives off. Thanks to the GPS, it's easy to find the places that have to be investigated. In fact, there really is a new footpath close to Zimmerwald, beside the Cantonal Road. In the Gurnigel area, too, he discovers a new footpath, but at the same time realises that the forest road no longer exists. It is now overgrown with pines and grass. 
The corrections are entered into the laptop on the spot. Back in Varben, these adjustments are immediately integrated into the database. TLM provides us with data for a variety of products, although no great amount of information is required, for instance, to register a new motorway connection on a roadmap scaled to 1 to 200,000. But to generate a panoramic view of a landscape, an extensive amount of data is indispensable. Swiss Topo sells its data in many different forms to a variety of customers, who range from public agencies and commercial users to private persons. <coughs> Certain data are even sold worldwide. Swiss Topo also closely cooperates with other federal institutions. Data is issued on commonplace media such as DVDs. Swiss Topo Kreni. Feedback or inconsistencies in the data are taken note of and corrected. Today's main area of application is digital products, but Swiss Topo naturally still produces its appreciated paper maps. The Maßstab is even größer and here are all the other ways. Thank you Despite the high degree of technology in its work methods, Swiss Topo has not forgotten its rich heritage. 500,000 archived photographic pictures contain extensive, valuable and important information on the development of Switzerland's landscape over the past 100 years. To prevent losing this information, which is stored on glass plates and films, a plan was devised for their preservation. For this purpose, all the photographs are digitalized. Thanks to the fact that work methods are continually being developed further and because of human curiosity, mankind is continually expanding its knowledge. In recent years, the registration of geodata has become increasingly precise, but also more demanding. At the same time, the continually growing wealth of information generated requires consistent and sensible management. Swiss Topo has undertaken this commitment for today and the future as well.